So today's video is going to be about how to get an account with Binance.com. Many of you may know that Binance.com, which is the regular Binance website, not Binance.us, which caters to US customers, but Binance.com has most of the cryptocurrencies listed. They have a good majority of cryptocurrencies that everybody wants listed on their website. Now Binance.us they don't have all of the US, um, well, they don't have all of the cryptocurrencies listed on their exchange because it's catered to US customers only. So they're going to be a limited amount of cryptocurrencies, um, such as Theta and a few others that are not available on Binance.us. You can get those on Binance.com. So I'm going to show you today how to create an account on Binance.com and use Binance.com as a United States residence. All right, so let's get to it. So the first thing you are going to need, um, since you've already signed up with Binance already, I'm sure maybe you've been on Binance.com and they just started kicking US customers out recently and you already have your email address used. So you will need a new email address. Even if you're on Binance.us, doesn't matter, Binance.com, Binance.us, whatever, whatever um, Binance accounts you have, you can't use that same email address, so you're gonna need a new email address and I recommend you go to ProtonMail.com and sign up for a new email address so let's do that and um let's go through it together the only thing i'm not going to go through with you is the vpn setting that up but um we didn't even get to that point yet so let's just get started with the email address you want to sign up for a new email account first of all we're going to open up a new web browser i didn't show you that step but what we're going to do is open up brave or chrome um, if you're using Chrome, what you're going to want to do is open up an incognito browser. If you're using Brave browser, and I highly recommend you use Brave browser instead of Chrome because Brave doesn't really spy on you like Chrome does. You're going to click on the settings button, which will be off to the right top, top right. And I'm going to show you what that looks like on Chrome. There we go. All right, so now we are on Chrome. Um, let me extend this a little bit bigger so you can see. Or make it smaller. Make it bigger. Let's slide this down so you can see what we're doing here. All right, so on Chrome, you're going to want to open up a new window, new incognito window. All right. Oh, you can't even see that. All right. So you can see my mouse, though. You won't be able to see the drop down menu when I click. When I click the three dots right there, you won't be able to see the menu. But when you click that button, there will be a little drop down menu. The first thing it will say is new tab. The second thing will be new window. And the third thing will be new incognito window. You're going to click that and you're going to open up a new incognito window. That's if you're using Chrome. Now, if you're using Brave, it's going to look different. Let me show you what it looks like when you're using Brave browser. Let's switch it back. All right. So you're going to click here and open up. A, oh, you can't see that either. But you're going to go right there. It may not have the update button. I need to update my Brave browser. I haven't done so yet. That's why I have that red arrow pointing up because it needs me to um, update it. But um, what you're going to do is click that. It's going to be a drop down and it's going to say new tab, new window, new private window, um, new private window with tour. You don't want one with the tour because we're going to be using a VPN. So you're going to want to go to new private window. That's what you're going to click. Click on new private window. And I've already done that. That's what we're looking at right here with the purple header thing at the top. We're looking at the new private window. So let's get rid of all of that and just focus on what's important because I don't need you seeing all my bookmarks and all of that stuff. Um, let's focus on what we need to be focused on. All right, so we are on protonmail.com. Well, I can go back down and show you that. Protonmail.com right there. That's where we need to be. And let's go focus back on that window. Okay. So we're going to go to the sign up button. And we are going to create ourselves a new account. Free. We're going to check the free basic account with limited features because we don't need anything fancy. Select free pan, free plan. Choose your username. I'm going to go with um I'm just gonna go with Crypto Man 78. That's my birth year. And all right, so we're good to go. Warning, you did not set a recovery email, so account recovery is impossible if you forget your password. Proceed without recovery email. All right, so we're gonna confirm that. Are you human? Um to fight spam, please verify you are human. If your email or phone number will not 
be linked to the account created. It is only used during the sign up process. A hash will be saved to prevent abuse of the Proton mail systems. Oh, so you gotta do email verification. Duh, it says it right there on the screen. So you're gonna put in another email address or we'll do SMS. Yeah, I'll do SMS. 908. Complete setup. Redirecting. All right, so we are ha we have our email set up. Immediately after setting up your email, you're gonna go to the link down below in the description and you're gonna sign up for the VPN service. It might be Nord or um Hide My Ass VPN. One of those VPNs will be linked down below. Both of them worked. I've used both of them. Nord works just fine and Hide My Ass works just fine. Now you're gonna um, sign up for one of those VPNs that is linked down below in the description. You want to install it on your computer. It's pretty straightforward. It's just like installing any other piece of software. And once you log in, you want to choose the location as either Germany or Spain. Either one of those locations will work just fine on Binance.com. But this step is absolutely critical. You have to do this step before you go on to Binance.com. All right, so let's proceed. I've already done that. I've already set it up. I've already got my VPN running and I'm set up as a Germany resident. So I have my VPN set up to be logged in as I am from Germany. And we can verify that right now by going to what is my IP address. And as you can see, it says that I am from Germany. Make my IP address private, click here. No, we don't need that. Cognate Communications, country, Germany. Now, every time that you log into Binance.com, you will need to have your um, VPN turned on and you will, need, you will need to have your VPN set to the country that you use to register on Binance.com. So if you register under Germany, then make sure you log in before, make sure you turn your VPN on before you go to Binance.com. Before you even go to the website, Binance.com, before you go to the website, turn your VPN on and make sure it's set to Germany. And if you've registered under a Spain VPN address then you turn your VPN on before you go to Binance.com and make sure you have it set to Spain. Alright, so what we need to do is register. And we are going to use the email that we just created. Cryptoman78 at protonmail.com and a password. We will create a new password. Again, don't forget your password. All right, uh, let's create an account. Account verification. Please enter the six digit verification code that was sent to you. Crypto man 78 okay, so we got to go to our email and enter the verification code that was sent to us. Let's hit our inbox button again. There we go. And 490139, we're going to go back to Binance and enter that. Success. Welcome to Binance. Here are a few ways you can get started. Deposit cash, deposit crypto, or simply just buy crypto with your credit card. We're going to go to the dashboard and let's see what other things we need to do before we can um, start using it. The security level of your account is low. Please enable one more security feature. So we are going to do Google verification. Download the app, scan the QR code. Um, Backup key, enable Google Authenticator. So we're going to hit next and we are going to set that up. We got that. Backup key, next. Send the code, Google Authenticator. All right, so now once that's done, um, we can pretty much end the video here because once you get past this first step of setting up the um, the two the the T I can never say that right the two FA two factor authentication using the Google two fa two factor authentication app which they had you download in the step prior to this you can um 
do the email verification, do the Google verification code. I've already done it. So I already have a Binance.com account, so I'm not going to go through the full steps. But once you finish this, you'll be able to use Binance. You'll be able to trade and you will be able to trade as much as and you'll be able to withdraw as much as two BTC worth of cryptocurrency each day at the current um, verification level. Now, you will only be able to stay at verification level number one because if you want to go to verification level number two where you can withdraw more than two BTC worth of um, cryptocurrencies per day, you will have to do a KYC, which is know your customer. You'll have to provide identification information and you can't really provide identification information because you're pretending to be from Germany or you're pretending to be from Spain. This is just a workaround and I highly advise you guys to proceed with caution. So don't send anything more to Binance.com that you're not that you're willing to lose because you are kind of, you know, skirting around their rules by doing this. And um, if you send, you know, $60,000 worth of cryptocurrencies over there and you can withdraw $60,000 worth of cryptocurrencies from Binance.com as level one verification at the current price of Bitcoin. So if you go ahead and send $60,000 worth of Bitcoin over there or cryptocurrencies over there and you want to pull it off an exchange and they decide to get a little funky on you because they suspect that you're using a VPN or that they suspect that you may not actually be from Germany, then, you know, there's a possibility that they can hold your cryptocurrencies. Now, I have not run into that issue. I haven't tried to pull off 60000 in one time. I have tried to pull off. Um, I have actually successfully pulled off about 20000 in one shot in one day without any issues. Now, I'm not saying that you won't have any issues and I'm not saying that you will, but just keep that in the back of your head that there's a possibility and you should proceed with caution. But um, from my experience so far, I have not had any issues using Binance.com as a U.S. resident using a VPN under the Germany location. So with that said, I'm going to end this video right here. Just remember, do not log into Binance.com before you have your VPN turned on. Do not even go to the website before you have the VPN turned on. All right. Now, you don't have to absolutely use um, Binance.com from a private browser. But if you've used it before as a U.S. resident on a non-private browser, like the regular Chrome version that's not incognito mode or you're not in private mode and brave, you will need to clear your cache, clear your cookies, clear all of the stuff that is stored on your computer from that browser. So it's probably easier to just use a different browser altogether. Maybe try um, Chrome Edge and then use Chrome Edge to log into Binance.com. So that way you're not have to, having to go in under private mode all the time and look real suspicious because you log into an exchange all the time from a private browser where nothing is stored and you log in every single time and everything looks new to binance.com there's no cookie stored or anything then you look very suspicious to them and they may want to um you know start investigating i'm not saying that that's what's going to happen but there's a possibility so you may want to consider using chrome edge i know nobody really uses chrome edge or um not chrome edge um Microsoft Edge, the new Microsoft browser that's based on Chrome. That's pretty good. It's not too bad. So you may want to use that newest version of Microsoft Edge to log into Binance.com only or find some other browser. Or if you're using Chrome, then just use Brave and use Brave only to log into Binance.com. So that way you don't leave a trail behind when you're logging in and out, you know, because you've been there before as a U.S. customer. I hope that makes sense. I hope I explained that well. But anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching subscribe all the links are down below in the description in the description box down below the links for binance.com to sign up the links for the vpns the, the two good vpns that i use which is hide my ass and nord i've used both of i've used both of them and they both work perfectly fine um nord is the most current one that i'm using so if you want to use nord but hide my ass works great as well um i like to switch back and forth just to switch it up and um yeah so links down below in the description protonmail vpn binance.com two-factor authentication set it up and you're good to go it's not hard to do you just got to trick them into thinking that you're not in the united states all right thanks for watching peace